Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a storyline, I guess? A unique take on parenting from one of my favourite sims, Greg Priestley. In case you don't remember, we have seen Greg before. He had his own storyline previously where he managed to get himself five girlfriends at the same time. And it would be fair to say a lot has changed since then. So Greg still lives in the same house he always lived in. However, he's had a little bit of an extension put in. You might notice this little kiddie room here. So when it comes to ladies, I mean, Greg is a bit of a shitbag, really. Can't be trusted. Not the nicest character, doesn't exactly treat ladies well, which probably explains why a lot of his relationships from the last video have kind of gone a bit sour. He has five children from four girlfriends. He still has a positive relationship with Destiny. They haven't had a kid together yet. He hasn't had to show any kind of amount of responsibility to Destiny. So, you know, she hasn't really seen the side of him that the other girlfriends have seen. So yeah, they're not together now, him and the other girlfriends. But even though he is a bit of a dirtbag when it comes to the ladies, he is still a good parent. You know, he's a hands-on parent. So we're going to be playing through about a week, I guess, in the life of Greg, given that his life has changed so much since the last time we saw him. So Greg is going to be an active parent to all five of his children. He's kind of come to like a 50-50 custody agreement with the mothers, so he has the kids every other night. So if you look in our calendar, you'll see we have a stay over with all five of them from tomorrow until Thursday. Thursday they go back to their mums and then they're back on Friday for another stay over. So we have the kids every other night. I also have my oh. SN Bank mod installed, so we hopefully at some point during this video we'll get to pay child support. I don't even know what our child support is, actually. 6,180 simoleons, ugh. And we have those kids 50% of the time. Well, Greg, you've got until tomorrow, uh, what time is it tomorrow the kids getting dropped off? 1 p.m. You've got until 1 p.m. tomorrow to enjoy your evening, so I think it's probably a good time for a little booty call. Should we invite Destiny over? Maybe we could end up with five right, baby mamas, who knows? Destiny will be right over. Okay, great. Oh, I see we're getting a bit tired. That's fine. She can stay the night as long as she's gone before the kids come round. Hey, Destiny. Invite in. Destiny, why don't you slip into something a little bit more cheeky? That dress, ah, it just does done. something, you know, really brings out your eyes, Destiny. Just go woohoo with Destiny. We won't try for a pregnancy. If one happens, then it happens. But every pregnancy we've had so far has just ended up being a happy little accident. So I'm not really up for deliberately trying to add to my outgoings, you know? Maybe we should try and use this week to, um, you know, the nights that we don't have the kids. Maybe we should try and meet someone else as well because it's very out of character for Greg to just have one girlfriend. Maybe we'll head to a bar or something. Not tomorrow night, but when the kids are gone, like Thursday night, maybe we'll go to a bar, see if we can get someone to uh, go on a date with us or something, that'd be quite nice. Oh, he's a materialistic <laughs> sim. Forgotten all of his traits. Romantic, ambitious, alluring, materialistic. Okay, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. So in case you were wondering who is who, we've got Viviana, who is our child with Amy. I think Viviana was born, actually, at the beginning of the last video, or the first video we did for Greg. So we had Viviana with Amy first, and then Classy Megan got pregnant, and she had little, little Colby. And then following Colby, we had Evangeline with Janelle. And then lastly, we had the twins, Anissa and Eric. And we had them with Nelly. So Nelly gets most of our money. All right, guys, I think probably, you know, it's getting late, almost midnight. Maybe we should turn in for the night so you're a bit tired there. Destiny, you're welcome to stay over. I don't know if there's a late night bus you're aware of. Either way, I couldn't give a shit. Oh, actually, Destiny, I could give a shit because you're making time go slowly, so either leave or go to sleep. Okay, bye. Okay, 3 a.m. It seems a bit too early to wake up, but you know what? His energy is full. I'll make the most of that. Go and take a shit. We'll have, um, we'll just have a quick meal, just have some cereal at 3 a.m., yeah. The kids aren't coming over until 1, so I'm thinking we might even be able to get out of the house in the morning. I'd like to be able to take the kids out a bit more, but because I've got three toddlers, there's not really much you can take toddlers to, you know? We just end up hiring daycare, and like I said, Greg is actually a hands-on parent. He does like being a dad. 
So he doesn't really want to do something with the kids and just leave the toddlers at home. Uh, oh, actually, maybe we could um, we could do some work. We could check for gigs. We're a programmer now. We have to get a job, pay for these damn kids. Um, let's see, should we do something like... This is quite a big payout, isn't it? Small mobile game with big dreams. Okay. We'll do this life. one. Study design documents. We'll just get this gig done before the kids come over and that way we've got some kind of financial top-up, otherwise oh, these way. mothers are just going to drain us dry. Isn't that right, Greg? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. He doesn't seem to want to do his job. Every time I tell him to study design documents, he does it for a little bit and then gets up and walks away. So I guess we don't want to do any work then, Greg? But you do want to go on chat rooms and fucking... Oh, for fuck's sake, Greg. You are such a piece of shit. And what is this? Where did you get all these fruitcakes from? God damn it. Okay, fine, fine. Well, we're just going to go out then. If you're going to be a dick about this and you're not going to want to do any work, then we'll just go out. Uh, should we go to the ice cream bar for breakfast? Yeah, let's go to the ice cream bar. We might might meet someone there constantly in a flirty mood. Should we go and craft some ice cream? Let's do um, mint choc chip. It's got to be, isn't it? That'll wake you up in the morning. I don't see any other Sims around. Oh, there's Labia over there, but eh, I think we could do better. Well, there aren't many other Sims around, so maybe we can't do better. Let's go and uh, introduce ourselves as soon as you finish your mint choc chip. Oh, why are you so angry? Why are you pissed off? Let's just go balls to the wall, just start flirting. Gossip about other parents. She did not like my flirting. Oh, come on, Labia, you could do much worse. Oh, she she does not like us at all. She's, re she's like actively facing away from us. Flatter, heartfelt compliment. Oh, is that your little wizard boyfriend there, Labia? Is that why you weren't interested? That's gotta be it, couldn't have been me. You just didn't want your boyfriend to get jealous, huh? Understandable. A lot of boyfriends find us pretty intimidating. Oh, he actually is her husband. Oh, what a good guess. I didn't even notice her surname was Silver Sweater. I didn't even hover over her name. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Bound to be faithful, huh? Yeah, you'll see, you'll see. That kind of mindset doesn't always go down well in The Sims. All Sims cheat, Labia. Okay, I think we're just going to head home. I'm going to try... Oh, I'm going to try and see if I can get him to do a bit of work again. Because this is, like, his first assignment. Like, it'd be pretty bad if you fuck that up. Like, just your first one. Go and study your documents again. You could even take your ice cream. But seriously, though... Oh, will you please just do your fucking work? Please do your work. Please stop quitting. Just do it. I'm going to have to quit our job. And he starts from scratch every single time he starts again. This is so annoying. Stop crossing it off. Oh, you fucking prick. I hate this guy. I hate him. So let's try again. Oh, starting from scratch again. And then we walk away again, are we? This fucking sim. I hope you go bankrupt, Greg. I hope you lose the roof over your head. Oh, he's a nasty piece of work. Where, where have you got more fruitcake from? He doesn't even have any in his inventory. He just keeps he just keeps pulling fruitcake from out of his ass. You know what? I'm not even going to let him have it back. Oh, it can't be deleted. Fucking brilliant. Well, I guess we're just going to have a household inventory full of gone off fruitcake then. Oh, clean that up. Well, I don't know what we're going to do for work then. We're going to have to oh, we're going to have to get into gambling or something because you obviously don't want to do a day's work. The kids are coming over any minute now with their little cases, all excited for a little sleepover. You're uncomfortable from unbalanced meals. Are you ready for the stay over? Yes. Yep, bring the kids, send them over. Here's the first one, Viviana. Is that a name? Viviana? Yeah, Viviana. I remembered the kid's name. Good dad. Hey, kids. How's it going? Do we have bills? No, but we do have mail. Okay, fine, fine. Just serving up some lunch for just me. But there's a bowl of ice cream on the table there, Viviana, so you, you help yourself, girl. So I do have the option to um, welcome the kids, and uh, I just had an option to teach a valuable lesson as well, so I feel like it'd be good to maybe teach the kids a little bit about, you know, how to play the dating game, you know? Oh, there's Evangeline, hug lovingly. Are these the only two so far? Are the other mums slacking behind? Yeah, clearly, clearly slacking behind probably got up late or something. It's 2 p.m. and I've only got two of my five kids here. Reached parenting level one. 
Sounds about right. Our first child, our firstborn is already a whole child and we've only just acquired the parenting skill. Oh, I think the twins are coming. There's Anissa. Where's the other one? Did Anissa just get the bus by herself? Where's her twin? Do we, do we also need to welcome the, the toddlers as well? No. Anything in the mail? Oh, Bill's great. Oh, Destiny's calling. It's good to hear your voice, Greg. I wanted to ask if I should get to know, well, as a friend, um, I, I don't give a shit, Destiny. I couldn't give less of a shit if I tried. Oh, where are the other kids? Well, maybe I'll put on, um, I'll put the kids network on just so the kids might get a bit distracted and they can just sit on the sofa watching Spongebob. Oh, oh! It is nice to see Greg being a dad, you know. Seriously, where are the other, where are the other kids? Is there like a limit on how many children I can have round or something? Where are the other ones? We're missing Eric and Colby. I've only got the girls. Did they just not want to come see their dad today or something? Okay, so Viviana, I feel like I should probably do a bit of parenting because I'm sure your mum won't bother. Oh, I can't tell her to do her homework. Maybe she doesn't have any homework. But we'll ask about school, you know, how school is going. Maybe she'll do a little drawing. Small talk, ask about school. Is it going well? Yeah. Oh, it looks like she's gonna make, gonna make me a little picture. No, don't stop, go and do a little picture. There's no option for me to like tell her to do a picture. How are our needs doing? Okay, we need to, we need to take a shit. Oh, the boys have arrived. Finally, finally. All right, let's go use the bathroom and then maybe we will bathe the toddlers. And by the time we've done that, probably it'll be dinner time. You want to come for a bath? Oh, wait, you never went to the you never w went to the toilet. Why didn't you ever go to the toilet? Whose kid is this from Unruly Stay Over Guest? Sheesh, these little imps can be way too much sometimes. Well, they're all your kids, Greg. Whose kid is this? Also, whoever it was that made a mess, it looks like they cleaned it up, so these kids are pretty well trained. Oh, it's Colby! Look at him, he's picking up the plates and doing the washing up! What a good kid! Ah. Oh, it looks like it is getting kind of late. It's half six. Probably a good time. It's a school night. We can't have a late night. What should we do for dinner for everybody? Um, maybe... Oh, Italian meatballs. We'll do meatballs. We're not really that hungry, so we'll do meatballs. We'll get the kids fed. We'll have a nice relaxing bath. And then we'll send them all to bed. You two better not be fighting over there. He's quite a good cook, actually. Oh, this is nice. I think I prefer this to playing as a normal family, you know? I, I think I prefer part-time parenting. Having them for one night, dealing with them for one night, and then letting them fuck off back home the next night. This is working pretty well for me. Okay, um, let's... I'm going to move the dinner to the coffee table so the toddlers can reach it. And then call to meal, everyone. Come on, animals, grab a bowl. Also, how did your hygiene go up already? You could take a bubble bath anyway. Kids, food's up. Feed yourselves, come on now. Is every man for himself? I thought doing meatballs might be like spaghetti and meatballs. But I guess not. Has everyone been fed? Everyone got a plate? What about the other toddler? Where's she? Oh, she's coming to get some food. Okay, good, good. And then once everyone's eaten, I'm going to influence one of the kids to do the tidying up so I don't have to do it. All this parenting, sometimes you just want to relax, eh, Greg? Oh, she's already cleaning up. I didn't even have to influence her to do it. What a good little egg. Okay, getting on for nine o'clock. I'm going to... Oh, I don't think I have to spray the monster under the bed. So put toddlers to sleep, we'll get them all, get them all snoozing, and then uh, we'll also get the kids to go to bed as well. Come on everyone, bedtime, let's go, come on. It's already nine o'clock, you guys have got school in the morning. Get your ass in gear, come on. Oh, I love it when toddlers go to bed wearing sunglasses. <laughs> right, you, go to bed. Can I influence you to go to bed? Influence to... No. But I can encourage her doing the dishes, so there's that at least. Okay, she is going to bed. Where's that boy? Is he up watching cartoons? Where is he? he? Better not be using my work computer. Oh no, he's down there. Oh, it looks like he's already thinking about going to bed. Okay, good, good. And then finally, we can get some sleep too. What time are the kids getting picked up in the morning? The kids are leaving at 7am tomorrow. So we'll have all day tomorrow to try and do our job. When, when have we got to do it by? Due by Saturday. Okay, that's quite a generous amount of time, actually. If I can get Greg to actually do it. 
Well, that was a successful night. Oh, all of the kids are outside. Playing outside at 2 a.m. Okay, whatever. <laughs> just do what you want to do, I guess. Why can't stay over guests just behave? I think they're eating last night's um, meatballs. You know what? I, I cannot be asked. Oh, wait, our energy's full. Okay, well, then we can be asked. Maybe we'll eat some leftovers as well, then. Oh, there's some dirty food there, Viviana. Should we maybe make breakfast? Have we got time to serve breakfast? If we just do something simple like pancakes. We'll do pancakes and we'll let Viviana clean up. Oh, Colby's cleaning up. Oh, good. Because these kids feel a lot better behaved than the usual kids. Stop chatting and get on with the pancakes because it's taking you twice as long. I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need to do now to start getting ready for being a ninja when I'm a grown-up? Um, outfit, obviously. It starts with the fashion. Okay, call to meal. Everyone, grab some pancakes so your mums don't moan that I send you home hungry. Grab your pancakes, eat up, and then you can be on your way. There we go, they're all getting fed. Has everyone got some? Everybody? Yep, yep. What about Evangeline? Did she get some? Yeah, I can see her chowing down on her plate over there. Okay, great. Well, I think for now, kids, probably time you head home. I'm just going, gonna go ahead and end it now. There we go. Your mums can come and get you. Great to have you guys. Right, Greg, before we go out again, can we please try again and do some fucking work? Can you please just stick to this? Just do it. Okay, we're getting further than we ever have. Maybe it's because we have less distractions. Maybe it's because we've just had a night with our kids and a day of doing boring work is a welcome change. What do you want, Destiny? Colby started a food fight in the cafeteria, causing most of the students to join in. Um, yeah, sure, we can be the fun dad. We don't need the responsibility. What a natural leader. Okay, we're actually doing some work. Oh, thank God. We've nearly finished. All right, done. Can we, um, can we make the mobile app now? Can we see how, how we get on with actually doing the job? Because that child support payment is going to come any day now. I've no, I think it comes on Monday. And if you're going to carry on meeting lots of ladies and spreading your seed, then you're going to have to, you know, get used to making serious money in a short space of time. I'm thinking you might even have to get an OnlyFans, Greg. These are trying times. Trying times for everyone. When have I next got the kids? They're coming over... Yeah, it was every other night, so they're coming over on Friday at 4 on Friday. Okay, cool, cool. They've got the Festival of Light on on Friday. Maybe I'll take the kids there. I don't think I'll be able to take the toddlers with me. Or maybe I will, I don't know. Usually toddlers are just sent to daycare. Which is uh, funny, because toddlers are sent to daycare, but infants you can take with you. Oh, Destiny again. Talk about needy. I followed your advice and chose not to spend more time. Okay, great. Good for you. Destiny needs a hobby, man. Okay, we've been doing this for hours now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Hopefully we can pick up where we, where we leave off. That he likes programming. Yeah, sure. Hopefully we can pick off where we, pick up where we left off next time we do this. But I think, you know, this is cutting into our beer time now. So we should probably head out. Can't spend my day off without the kids working non-stop, can I? Uh, Windenburg is kind of party city, isn't it? Should we just go to the Narwhal Arms? Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, or we could go to the Old Quarter Inn. I hardly ever go there. Let's go there. It's the happiest hour of all for Cheapskate Sims. Everyone enjoys drinks at discount prices. Oh, well, in that case, it would be rude not to indulge. Order a drink for... Well, why can't I just order myself a drink? Order happy hour drink? Um, okay, everything's half price. What should we get then? Oh, sea splash. We'll get a sea splash. I was just going to get a beer, but given that it's half price, I mean, let's splash out with a sea splash. Treat ourselves. Turn on the stereo. What should we have on? Maybe, uh, you know what my favourite radio station is? Summer Strut. Oh, is that Vanessa Jong? <gasps> Attempt introduction. Come on, Greg. Be cool. Be chill. You're a cool guy. You don't need to freak out. Don't forget your drink. Okay, just chill, chill. Don't start screaming and making a fool of yourself. Just say hello. Oh, Greg. Oh, you're embarrassing. Why don't you just say hello? Just em You've embarrassed us both, Greg. How do you introduce yourself to a celebrity if you're a nobody? How do you do it? Maybe we'll chat up with this Miss Beda. I know, I know for a fact that she's a taken lady, but going back to the point I made earlier, this is The Sims. No consequence. Talk about cooking. We like cooking. We made pancakes this morning. Brighton day. Share baby pictures. Yeah, make her think we're a real family man. Yeah, there's my little ones. I've got five. You know what I might do? 
I might just be a bit cheeky here. See if I can fast track this romance. I had a chance with Labia and I let that slip through my fingers and I'm, I'm not doing that again. Oh no, is she leaving? Wait, where are you going? She's gone. Fucked it. Fucked it already. Oh, Greg, you have just lost your touch, haven't you? Attempt introduction again? Maybe I just have to try it a few times before it works. Oh, here we go. Cheering again. Oh, she waved back though. Okay, well we can we can make some kind of conversation now, at least. So I guess it just takes a couple of failed interactions. I mean, even now though, I'm kind of limited as to what I can actually say to her. Oh, you are just so on your high horse, aren't you, Vanessa Jong? Looking down on me like I'm lucky to even talk to you. Oh, wait! She's flirting back! Ask if she wants children. Look at that relationship! <gasps> I'd like having children. Oh, well, that's great because I am a great dad, Vanessa Jong. I have my kids every other night. Ask about interests. Ask about interests. Talk about cooking. Oh, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, do an impression. Maybe kiss hand. Is that going too far? Perhaps that's going too far. I don't want to fuck this up. Brag about baby. I would like to... Uh, oh, I don't know what that camera trickery was there. If I can woohoo with a celebrity, I would like to do that. So... Let's just see if we can... First kiss? Can we go in for our first kiss? Fuck off, Bob Pancakes. Tell funny story. Tell engaging story. Okay, we might be in there. We might be able to go in for a first kiss with Vanessa Jong. What's our relationship state? Oh, he's impressed by her. Celebrity acquaintance. Romantic interest. She's only a notable newcomer, Vanessa. You're not even a proper celebrity. So, you know, rein it in. Greg, stop talking to everyone else. Vanessa. Stop talking to everyone else, Greg. Come on. Are we going to go for a first kiss? Are we just going to go for it? Time's getting on. Oh, is he going to do it? Oh, no, he's just going to kiss her hand. Well, she likes it, though. And she's flirty now. Oh, Vanessa. I think we might be in there, you know. Is she going to take the rose? Yes, she is. Okay, physical imp showbiz kiss, shall we do? Okay, I'm thinking maybe we should head home because we it looks like we need to take a shit, so... What we'll do is we'll head home, maybe see if I can invite Vanessa around. Or, oh, you know what? Let's just take her back to my place. Grab your coat, Vanessa. Oh, this is going so well. Right, Vanessa, um, make your... Who is that? Just some random random follower. Vanessa, make yourself comfortable. Um, I'm just going to go sit on the throne. I'll be back in a few. Bit hungry as well. Maybe I'll grab some leftover pancakes. Oh, you know what? No, be a gentleman. Call to meal. Maybe Vanessa would like some pancakes. Come on over, Vanessa. Freshly made pancakes. Fresh from this morning. They're only about 11 hours old. That's right, girl. You eat up. Um, let's see. Ask to be girlfriend. Obviously, that's the next step. That might even gain us some fame, which is nothing to be scoffed at. Can we woohoo? Yes, we can. Woohoo. Ask to be girlfriend and then let's take her upstairs. I know you guys can see the kids' bedroom, but I've got the door shut, so she she can't see what's going on back there. Oh, it's official. We're in a relationship with Vanessa Jong. No, don't eat pancakes. There are more important things than eating pancakes. What about just, um, woohoo with Vanessa? Is he going to ask? You asking the question? Oh, yeah, I can tell by his posture. He's asking the question. Okay. Great. Great. Good for you. And then maybe tomorrow, uh, well, we've got the kids tomorrow, actually, so we won't be able to invite Destiny over, but maybe maybe she can pop round before the kids come over, because they're not coming over till about four. But you know what, Vanessa? It's been great having you, but I am getting a bit sleepy, so you can go on home, and we're going to go to bed. See you later. Enjoy the night bus. Quite the early riser, aren't you, Greg? Okay, well, we've got the kids at four, so maybe we will take a bath clean this up oh do i not have a bin oh no i've got a bin right there why can't you clean it up and then maybe we'll have french toast for breakfast and i'm thinking seeing as we're taking the kids out tonight maybe we'll just try and spend the day before they come round maybe we'll try and spend the day seeing if we can get that work done because it's due tomorrow so eat your little french toast and then we will get back to continue making the app and we'll just do this until the kids get dropped off at like four Oh, I just got a phone call from Eric, my toddler. I heard you and Megan started dating. Congratulations on landing a new girlfriend, Dad. I see you're shacking up with someone other than my mummy. 
Uh, actually, no, you're wrong, Eric. Me and Megan broke up. Broke up because of your mum, probably. Oh, it's due by 9am, so I have to get this done today. Oh, man, we're not even halfway through. This is taking forever. I don't know if we're even going to get this done in time. We're only halfway through. We spent too much time on the lash and not enough time concentrating. Greg. Okay, go to the bathroom and then come back and continue making the app. I mean, you know what? The event isn't until six. The kids are coming over at four and judging by last time, they won't even all turn up at four. It'll probably take a little while before they all show up anyway. So I could probably work on this until about six. The stay over is happening, yes. And it looks like we are, ugh, oh, brain fried. Fuck's sake. You know what? I don't even give a shit. I'm not gonna get paid for this gig. Because this tense mood buff lasts for 10 hours. I, I don't even give a shit. I'm cheating it away. Fuck it. Say what you want to say. I can't have this man live through an entire week and not do a single day's work or not get paid at all. You saw my child support bills over six grand and I'm not even getting paid that for this gig. No shame. Absolutely no shame. Oh, I think some of my kids have arrived already. Who's here? Oh, a couple of the toddlers, couple of the kids. Oh, is everyone... No, we're still waiting for the toddler boy, I think. But, Greg, you haven't finished your rap, but the kids are here. And we've got the event now, the Festival of Light. So you know what? We're going to take the kids, give them a little bit of a... Uh... Oh, I can take the toddlers. Okay, great. Except Eric, because Eric hasn't turned up. Shit, he's going to be dropped off and no one's going to be home to collect him. Oh, you know what? That's his mum's problem. She knew what time to drop them off. Okay, kids, stay close. Toddlers buddy up with the kids. I don't want you guys getting lost. What we got here then? Some traditional. We'll purchase, um, actually, we'll get a couple of simi capsules for the kiddos. And then we will purchase a kimono to wear. And then maybe I should get some food as well because I don't think the kids have eaten. So maybe I'll just get some teriyaki. Did Mortimer Goth just pick up my fucking teriyaki and that little prick? Oh, this isn't going to work. He just keeps eating everything that he's buying. All right, kids, you're going to have to fend for yourselves when it comes to food. But daddy's got you a present. Friendly, affection, give gift, a rare simi capsule. And then I'll give one to the boy as well. Just so that when they go home, they can tell their mums that they get presents and anything they want them when they're with dad. There you go. That was a boost in your confidence. You're welcome. Oh, she didn't like it. Fuck you then, Viviana. Unappreciated gift. What a little shit. Someone needs to teach that kid some manners. Her mother. Hopefully Colby's a bit more grateful. He did like it. Okay, good, good. Right, kids, come on. We're going to come, come over to the wishing tree. We're all going to make a wish. You can wish for what you want for Christmas if you like. You can wish for anything. Just don't wish for your mum and dad to get back together. Make a wish with Colby. My wish is for a new box of Trojan condoms. What about you, Colby? Wishing for a new little notepad or something? New little pens? We've got the Yamachan over here, kids. You want to see Dad take a selfie with it? It kind of seems, because I can't control the entire household, it kind of seems like he's dragged his kids along and he's just having fun. <laughs> oh shit, it's half nine already. Um, well, let's do a quick fire dance, because why not? That's going to gain us some fame. And then we'll, I'll try and get the kids to bed. If they're hungry, they know where the fridge is. They can just grab themselves something. All right, Greg, you've had a few minutes to show off. I think we'd better take these kids home and maybe Eric will be waiting for us when we get back. Oh, we can take him with us. Okay, cool. I guess the mother hounded us down and found us at the festival. Aren't they such a cute little family? Look at them. Oh, right, kids, put yourselves to bed. Daddy's got to work. I would put you to bed myself, but last time I did that, you all got up and started wreaking havoc and just doing whatever you wanted anyway. So just do what you want, I guess. Stay up as late as you want. I think some of my toddlers need a, a nappy change. Right, who needs a nappy change? You definitely do. Um, change diaper. Do you need a nappy change? I may as well do it anyway for good measure. And what about the boy? Is he, is he? No, he seems fine. Okay, cool. We'll change a few nappies, Greg, and then we'll get back to work. We're going to be working all through the night at this rate. Nappy change number one. Nappy change number two. Oh, also, I forgot that I left food out. So, okay, great. The kids can eat. I left some food out on the table for them. Awesome. What a good dad. Oh, come on, Greg. We're so close. You've only got six hours to get this done. The kids are with us until 12 as well, so I think I'm just going to take a lie-in and then their mums can pick them up at lunch. Oh no, what's wrong with you? Why are you smelly already? 
Does she need a bath? Right, well, you're gonna have to wait till I finish work and then I'll give you a bath. He's very angry. Whose kid is this? Yes, okay, finally. We made a mobile app. Right, okay. So I'm gonna bathe, um, give bath to Anissa. She needs a bath. Eric, you still doing good? Where's Evangeline? Okay, she's fine. You don't need to check Evangeline. She's fine. You just need to bathe one of them. I don't think anyone's going to go to bed. Oh, we're a notable newcomer. Yeah, well, uh, no, we're not strict, actually. We're pretty chill. We're a chill guy. Good boy, Colby. Yeah, so Vanessa really has nothing to scoff at now. We're both notable newcomers. Oh, look at those needs. Okay, we're going we're gonna to use the bathroom. Um, we'll serve breakfast again. We'll serve... Um, Oh, for fuck's sake, why won't you go to the toilet? G go to the toilet. And then um, serve breakfast, serve um, a breakfast scramble. Just get it done. And then once you've all eaten, then you can just go and sleep. The mums can just let themselves in and take the kids. Oh, no. Wake up. Wake up. Are you starting to get burned out? Oh, dear. Well, could resume breakfast scramble. Let's just get everyone fed, can we? If you stop, If you stopped getting distracted by other things... It's poor quality. Oh well, food is food, so call to meal, everyone. Go and eat some food. Right, all my kids are fed. All of my needs are green except sleep, so I'm just gonna send Greg to bed. You can sleep through the day. The kids will feed themselves. By the time we wake up, they'll be gone. Hope you had fun at Dad's. Okay, so I don't think I've got the kids now until tomorrow. So it's probably a good time to, um, where is Destiny? Right, we'll invite Destiny over. Have a, have a bubble bath. I don't know why Evangeline is still here. She should be, she should be gone home by now. But we'll take a bath. Oh, there's Destiny. Oh, why is Evangeline still here? Oh, Vanessa's texting. Hey Evangeline, how's it going? How about I serve us some dinner? Some fish tacos, perhaps? Just clean all this up. Is Evangeline still here or has she finally gone home? I think she's finally gone home. Okay, good. Right, we'll serve dinner. We'll dine Destiny before we, uh, before we woohoo. Call to meal. Destiny, please. Help yourself. Stop talking to a random kid on the street. That's a bit weird, Destiny. I'm not gonna lie, that is a bit weird. Okay, she's coming over to get some fish tacos. You guys enjoy your food? Maybe we will go to the bathroom. Have a cheeky... Cheeky woohoo. But we got to be quick now, Destiny, because uh, I've got someone else coming over later. Oh, actually, you know what? I haven't got the kids until 4pm on Sunday. The kids are coming over at 4 tomorrow, so that, that actually means that maybe Destiny can stay over and then um, I'll just invite Vanessa over tomorrow morning. It's a lot easier juggling two girlfriends than it was juggling five. But, you know, we're a dad now. We haven't got the, the amount of free time we used to have. You know how it is. Oh, Destiny's taken herself home. Okay, she could have stayed over. Oh, we're into winter now. I think one of those, I think maybe we should clean up a little bit. I think one of those kids left a mess. Okay, Vanessa, would you like to come over? Invite to hang out at current lot. Oh, here she is, that was quick. Right, Vanessa, you can't stay long because I've got the kids coming over this afternoon. So maybe we should just uh, woohoo, shall we? Little woohoo. There we go, that's how we like to spend our weekend. You know what I might do? I might just check, just out of curiosity, just to see if she is pregnant. Oh, shit. She is pregnant. Vanessa's pregnant. So we're having baby number six. Baby number six. And that's assuming Destiny is not pregnant, which she might be. So you know what? I'm going to send Vanessa home. I'm going to invite Destiny over again just to find out if she's pregnant. Is that Destiny? Okay. What's the situation? Fucking hell. She's pregnant too. So, uh... If we ever revisit Greg, he w we do know that he will have at least seven children. Oh, destiny, destiny, destiny. All right, well, it was nice to see you. I'm going to go ahead and send you home. Sorry for bringing you all the way out here. Well, Greg, you know what? This is your time now, man. You enjoy it. You enjoy it until the kids come over. Well, you know what? I was kind of hoping uh, we would be paying child support at some point, but we haven't made the actual payment yet. <laughs> Still, I suppose at least it's good to know how much we're actually going to be paying. Also, it will be interesting to see what that number will be in about three days' time, when we have two more children. 
We'll have to pick up the pace at work, Greg. But this video really was just to get a feel for what life is like for a single a single dad, you know, who shares 50-50 custody of his kids. And I feel like we've kind of caught the essence of what that's about. So on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. If you would like to see another episode following the life of Greg, do let me know in the comments. But for now, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.